Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna make the bubble wrap cane. Um, everybody knows this kind of plastic foil with little bubbles inside and even though it's a very cheap material it's also very pretty. You can play around with different color combinations. Here I used a little blue for the shadows and this is a, another color version pink. Uh, actually the pink bubble wrap does exist it's the anti-static one and so that's the one we're gonna make today and I decided to split this tutorial in two so today we're gonna make the bubble and uh, in the next video I'm gonna show you how to make the bubble wrap and um, for this cane we'll need some special tools um, first of all an extruder most of you will already have that um, and for the plate we'll be using um, this small flat triangle here um, so I guess you could also make that shape with your fingers by pinching with your fingers in case you don't have an extruder and um, then we'll be using these two blocks of wood that are round these are half round but they could also be round and uh, there's a bigger one maybe three centimeters diameter and this is maybe one and a half or two and um, I'm sure you can get this in your local hardware store or craft store uh, if not you could also be using a another object with this kind of shape but it's got to be hard because we'll be using it to press the clay this is today's palette we have three colors that are very close together um, because this cane is all about subtle shadings and gradients so even my darkest tone is still very bright and we'll need these pure color sheets later for now we start with three blends that we'll make out of these colors and they're all the same size 10 by 12 centimeters except this one is a double layer zero and these are single layer zero and I leave a quite big offset here and here two centimeters to have some of that um, pure color and then this point is in the middle of my sheet and here I have a small offset on either side and I start with a rather low curve so the dark color fades in slowly um, of course you can also play around with this setup um, depending on the colors you're using and also on the contrasts you want to achieve. So I was mixing our blends. Um, now you can also see that this one is actually twice the size. And uh, we will start with this one that has all three colors and we'll make it into a bullseye cane. And for this I will fold it in half and run it through the machine this way and I was making it on level 4 um, to get to a good length and now we want to roll them up starting from this uh, light end and I want to show you this trick because we don't want to lose any of this light color here so I'll trim it off and I'll make it into a nice roll that has the same width um, of our sheet and then I will use this roll as a core of our cane and like this we'll get a nice even cane without any leftovers and then I'll do the same with this big sheet I also make it into a bullseye cane and I will fold it twice to get to the same width as this one and this one I roll it up that way to make it into a stub so we got two bullseye canes with the white in the middle and um, this stub 
we'll need to morph it a little bit because we want to make it very flat and into a square. Now these two other canes, well, we want to cut them into half and for this it's nice to make them a little bit shorter because it's going to be easier and then I'll mark the half here uh, through the center and I'll mark it on the back also through the center and I connect these lines and then I can make a clean cut like that and um, now each of these pieces we want to make them back into a round cane and by folding them along the middle so I'll make that fold here with this uh, flat spatula tool from both sides and then I'll just press these two sides together fold them in and uh, press together and press them down also a little bit um, until the gap is closed At the end I press a little bit from the top and I'll make that whole thing back into a nice round shape but be careful not to lose that line we will need that line as a mark later and I'll do the same with this piece and also with this cane so we'll end up with these four pieces that are pretty much the same as the bullseye cane before except that the white actually moved out of the center towards this side and that's also the reason why we're doing that and um, this last piece we'll also cut it in two just to make it even because now we have everything double and actually we can make two bubble canes out of this and uh, we will need to for the bubble wrap but for now we're making only one so I'll take one of each pair and now we want to put them together like this with the block in the middle and these two rolls on either side and we need to reshape this one a little bit to make it fit nicely and what we want to do is um, make this side wider the side where the gradient shows and at the same time we want to pinch it in the middle and for this we'll be using um, these wooden tools that I was showing you in the beginning and I was soaking them in water for a few minutes so the clay won't stick to it and then we'll have this smaller piece on the dark side like this and the bigger piece on the other side and make sure it's positioned in the middle to have the same amount of clay on either side and then we're pressing it together and at the same time we're um, making these sides even wider. Mm -hmm. 
and I will take these pieces off carefully and slowly and um, shape it a bit more by hand pull these edges out and make it make them really thin on both sides and also this darker side is a bit smaller so it's gonna make an angle and then I'll put it back on my thing and press it a bit more until they're almost touching and again make these sides wider take them off very carefully yep here too yep and now this piece has the perfect shape to take these two rolls we gotta make them the same length and um, we need to watch this line um, that is facing to the outside in both canes like that and now we compress the whole thing uh, erase these edges by pulling them over and make the whole thing into a nice and round cane. And this is almost our finished cane. All we want to do now is uh, wrap it in some of that uh, solid color that I was showing you in the beginning. And um, we'll wrap it in uh, um, the dark color first. This is a level two, a medium thick uh, layer. And then we'll wrap it in the white, another layer. And this one we'll need in the next video for the bubble wrap background. And this is our bubble. You can already use it like that as a bubble or you can also turn it into a bubble wrap and I'll show you how next week. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.